Now, what would a ideal maintenance program look like for an HVAC company that would want to implement it with smart technology? And as a part of that, what would an ideal maintenance visit look like incorporated into that ideal program? What we would want to see an ideal maintenance program would be one visit a year. During that visit, we'd run measure quick. We would find and hopefully fix as many issues as possible to get that equipment running as best as it possibly can. Then we would install smart AC monitoring onto it and only go back to that equipment if there was something wrong or if the calendar year has then lapsed for that maintenance program and it's time to do another quick checkup on that equipment. Again, verifying with measure quick that it is still operating as it should. And then only relying on the monitoring after that to catch issues as they come up. And if those visits are needed, because there is an issue with the equipment, you can then go back out and go and find and fix that issue. I'd like to add um, setting an expectation for the customer to understand, aka duct issues that are very difficult to solve in some homes and could be very costly to solve. Even with a measure quick retro commissioning test, Setting the expectation for the customer to say, look, there's a possibility here that if you don't change your filters as often as you should, or often as we recommend, you could be getting alerts from your system that are telling you that something's wrong. It's very important to set those expectations because as perfect as we'd like every HVAC system to run, we still need to manage the customer experience from a level of, this is the best that's going to run. If it's a C plus or a B on a measure quick test, and it's based on duct system issues, customer could be getting alerts more frequently, and there might not be anything that can be solved within their budget or within reasonable asks of the customer to improve upon. So great points, Ben, as far as establishing, almost being like the cruise director. Here's the ideal plan. This is why we do it. This is why you want to see us less because of the fact that Now you don't have to take off from work again. So I'm giving you time back, Mrs. Jones. So there's a benefit for them. And I think that's always very important when rolling out a a smart maintenance plan is you got to make it about the customer and what they're gaining and not just gain it from the contractor side of the business. That's the difficult part for the homeowner to understand sometimes is what are they getting out of this? Because it sounds like you're doing less work and charging me the same money. So definitely have to offset the gain to the change. I would recommend with any smart maintenance plan is to add as many touches as possible to the consumer from digital education, digital touches from an educational perspective, providing them that transparency. So the perceived value is now greater or the actually delivered value is now greater than it ever was before deploying a smart maintenance program. So it's, you're going from two hopeful visits a year, because the other thing that we need to come to reality on is the fact that, yeah, they get two visits a year with a traditional maintenance plan, but half the time they don't call us back to go out and actually perform that maintenance visit. So they're actually not getting what they paid for. So there's a positive that we can spend to say, look, I only have to come out once a year and you'll probably make the time for that one. So I'm going, to, I'm going to give you time back so you don't have this coordination issue with me because obviously we deal with this every year with you. And then whether it's monthly updates or some type of email campaign or email marketing to the customer, using some data to help nurture that, that customer relationship. Because I can tell you the number one thing that owners want when looking to deploy a smart maintenance contract is a meaningful connection with their customer. So we have to, as an industry or as advocates for this type of technology, to help contractors communicate that message properly. To know that, hey, I, I know one of the top reasons you want to do this is because of creating a meaningful connection with your customer. What that yep. means is you're going to have to do things a little differently or more frequently for that customer to make sure that they understand that they're getting more value because of this. That's the piece that's been missing for a long time that I think is low-hanging fruit to, to solve for. Brian had a great point that it can be difficult to explain to the customer, why am I paying for this maintenance program now and only getting one visit? When traditionally, year after year in the past, we have told these customers and ensured them that they need these two visits a year. 
why am I now only needing one fit? I think a great way to do that is, again, to relate it to the automotive industry. Look at cars 20 years ago versus now. Now cars have got a lot more sensors on them. We can actually know when the oil needs to be changed on that car with the sensors that are installed on that car. It's now very similar with your HVAC to where we can do smart monitoring on these systems and know when we need to go out and do maintenance when we see performance is starting to fall. That kind of continuously on, continuously connected can absolutely go from being uh, either a stressful occurrence into being something that is just an everyday luxury. I think we're just at that nexus point where the technology will be invisibly integrated so that homeowners don't actually have to even think about these decisions anymore, just like with a car. They just buy a car and then they're just pleasantly surprised when it just does everything they they need for them, even though they didn't know they needed it. So I think we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. So thanks guys for helping me out with these topics today. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you help more businesses get onboarded with Smart AC, scale their business models and help out more customers. Absolutely. Thank you guys.